Hi students and welcome back to episode 4 which is the final merge, it's also question 10c and um, I just need to quickly take you back to question 10b remember this is what question 10b looked like and what we now have to do is so the only thing that's still missing about question 10b is the header alright so just go to, to the top of your page right click on the top of your page and click on edit header usually on the left hand side is where you type in your ID number your examination number and press tab on your keyboard once so that your cursor can jump to the middle press tab on your keyboard again so that your cursor can jump to the far right of the page and then you can type in capital letters you can type in question 10 Alright, and then you just close your header. Okay, so now this eventually question 10b, 10b you have to print. And then you have to show proof that you did insert your merge fields. So you print your 10b question. Then only you are ready to do question 10c. And question 10c is super, super easy. All that you do is you click on mailings. You click on finish and merge. Edit individual documents. All of them you need to go okay and then your document converts it changes so remember your data source file asked you to insert in the first in the first um, row it asked you to insert your id number your exam number and there is the letter one with your id number but the agent is jack the second letter you were asked to insert your question number but the agent is bertha and the last letter mr pj williams the agent is marita and there's your letters. The only other thing that you have to change is make sure that you change the header to C because it's no longer question 10B, it's now question 10C. And then you print your document. But let's go check our questions. Did we do everything that has been asked? Let's go back to our question. Question 10C says use the merge function of your word processing application and merge the documents. We've done that. Change the question number in the header to question 10C. We've done that. Ensure that the footnote numbers stay the same on all the pages. All right, let's go and check. Let's go and check. Um, footnote. There's trust monies, number one. That's for the first one. Okay, fine. The second one, has, the footnote is now, there's now two I's. And the third letter, there's now three I's. Now, that is not what they want. They want all the pages to be one I. How do we get it like that? The process actually starts back with our before we merge. So to fix that problem, you will have to do your merge again. So I'm just going to quickly just delete my, my merge documents here. I'm just going to delete this just so that I don't get confused. I'm going to go back to question 10b my merge fields and before i merge i'm going to click on references i'm going to go into my footnote launcher and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to numbering i do not want it to be continuous i don't want it to be one two three i want it to be i want to start restart the numbering on each page remember the question specified four pages so i want to restart the numbering on each page not a section a page and then i'm going to click on apply then i'm going to merge finish and merge edit individual documents all of them okay my first my first letter okay that's one i Good. My second letter, there's one I. Good. And my third letter, there's one I. Good. So all three letters now are only have one I, so all of them follow. And then I can save and print the document. So that's it, students. Thank you so much for watching. And join me in the next video, episode 5, where we will be continuing with spreadsheets.